Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Minecraft. Well guys, today we are going to be doing some more map exploring, but thanks to a certain Mr. BC's 300s, at least I think that's how you pronounce your name, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, we've learnt a little trick that we can do, and this tree has just grown in my way. <laughs> this wasn't here just now when I was practicing this. Alrighty, so, thanks to... Thanks to them, we now know that we can take flight with a bow. And they requested a certain type of bow, which is the one that I've got in, in my right hand over here. And I've got that so that I can eat on the way, because I've discovered that doing this trick takes your food down a lot. So anyway, what you do is you run. Oh, you don't really need to run, but for me, because I'm not too experienced with it. And then as you're flying, you can shoot yourself with the bow, as long as it has punch two on it. And it really sends you soaring. Gives you a real boost. So you, we don't need to really climb our tall tower anymore to get really going in our uh, elytra. Which is super useful for our map exploration over here. So thanks a lot for that comment. It's going to come in real handy. And this is what I was saying about the food. <laughs> but it really needs to be like a short pull on the bow. You can't do it for too long. Otherwise it doesn't really work too well. <laughs> So yeah, we, we're getting off to a flying start this episode as we go. Thank you very much for that comment. So let's just try and see if we can get a bit of altitude. Um, I notice you have to be pretty much level when you do the bow trick as well. Otherwise it doesn't work too well. There we go. And let's try to get back this way. Into the side of leaf block, that was almost fatal. Okay, eat some more food over here. And then let's check the map again. And I'm just really trying to get the hang of this, and hopefully, eventually, we won't ever have to land. But it looks like I'm going to be coming to a land soon. A landing soon, because I can't quite get a boost going. No! Is this over before it even starts? Yep! <laughs> Alrighty! We landed! Well, that was certainly a longer flight than we've had in a long time, so... Anyway, let's run along here. Maybe we'll find another ledge that we can jump off and get going. Or maybe I can even try going from the land and see what we can do. Well, let's climb this little hill over here. And come around this side. And... We were almost off. No! <laughs> quite. Hey, this is quite tricky trying to get this, this right. I'll tell you something, but it'll be worth it's a worthwhile skill to learn in this game. Oop. Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's wait until we've got a ledge, because I don't want to use up all my food and all my armor durability ability doing this. As you can see, we are quite full of arrows at the moment. Wow. We look like a pincushion, or a porcupine, or a pincushion porcupine. That would actually be a cute idea. I wonder if somebody's ever done that. Made like a little plushy porcupine and stuck pins in its back. I'm sure someone must have done that. Come on, if they haven't, get on it. Also, I'm not wearing my Frostwalker at the moment. Um, I've got... Oh, well, this guy tried to give me a boost by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, I'm not wearing my Frostwalker boots at the moment. I'm wearing my Depstrider bo boots. Uh, I was doing some work... Uh, on the uh, water temple there, clearing out some more of the water from it, trying to excavate it from underneath the ocean where it has resided for so long. So that was a, a, a pretty nice worthwhile effort, but the frost walker kept getting in the way. It was freezing water that I needed to go down into, and it was causing me trouble. And also when I went down into the water, I needed to be able to move quicker than I was, so I needed the depth strider. And then I've also been doing some work off camera, which I'll show you next episode, on the um, desert city, desert town, which I'm going to actually stop calling the desert town now, because it's not really supposed to be a desert town. <laughs> it's more of like a, a hilltop city or something like that, a trading post. Yes, that's what I shall call it from now, the trading post, because it isn't a, it isn't mostly in the desert. It's like half in the savannah, half in the desert, and a little bit in that's left over between those two halves is inside of uh, a plains biome, I think. 
So it's not really accurate to say that it's a desert city. It won't really have that aesthetic when I'm done with it either. Although clearing out the river that was there, or clearing out making a river that wasn't there, <laughs> meant that I now have a whole lot of sand. So, uh, yeah, a lot of sandstone <laughs> that can be used in builds and stuff in that area. So it will have sort of like a very arid feeling to it, I would imagine. Alrighty, let's come up here a bit. Just get through these trees. It's a, a lot of trees to get through. Alrighty, and jump around here. Okay, let's try and see if we can take off again, eh? Ready, and jump. Oh, into the tree. This is a bit dangerous, I guess, because <laughs> kinetic energy could kill us with all these trees around. So, let's just try and get through these trees first, and then we can uh, do another jump around here. And there's a creeper trying to blow us up, which isn't grand. And a skeleton is trying to give us a boost, so we can take flight once again. Let's try here. There we go. We're flying. There we go. Up over the trees. Whew. This is like a bit of an adrenaline sport now with the, the mix between the lighter and the bow, because... Especially since I don't really know if I'm going to get it right each time. It, it's pretty nerve-wracking. There we go. I think it would be a good idea to put mending on this bow, since we do have that uh, mending guy. Oh, come around here. Because it looks like this bow is going to lose a lot of durability. It's going to be used a lot. Come on. Thank you. Whoop. And we landed in a tree. Not good. All of our momentum. Oh. And we managed to save just before we landed. Oof. But we've gone horribly off course on our mapping. There we go. This certainly is... Very interesting for me, I don't know how much uh, of a video it makes because I can't really comment while I'm doing this because it's taking too much concentration. But I guess as time goes on and I get more used to using it, it won't take as much concentration anymore. And I'll be able to comment better. Oh, there we go. Nice little boost over there. And let's eat some more steak. We are getting hungry, hungry, hungry. This, this would also take up a lot of our food supply. So, we better get cracky on getting more of that going. Um, hi, can I... There we go. Now I need to come back around this way, I think. Get some of my momentum, momentum back. Yeah, it looks like what I need to do is, straight after I've shot myself with the bow, um, I need to go up. Because that's when I've still got the boost and I can gain some height that way. If I wait too long afterwards, I'll lose too much height, and then I start falling. So that's a bit of a little strategy that I need to take. Because you need to be pretty much level. Uh, shooting pretty much level to get the boost with your bow. Otherwise, the arrow doesn't hit you, and you don't get to go forward with it. Yeah, so this is the sort of thing you need to do. Get the boost while you're still going quite fast to go, uh, go higher. And then level out and shoot yourself again. And use the boost to go even higher. Yep, yep. And fly over miles and miles of jungle. This world has an absolutely massive one. Wow, that was three hits in a row there. We definitely need to eat some food after that though. Because our health is just going down, down, down. Alrighty, and we get a nice flight over here for a while. We can relax, we're very high up. Might as well get a bit higher. There we go. And just keep going. Wow. Look at these trees from the top here. Looks very, very, very beautiful. I must say. I'm just enjoying the sounds of the elytra as I saw along through the air without a care in the world. <laughs> 
Unfortunately, we don't feel pain in this game, otherwise I don't think I would be using this strategy. It would be a very, very painful thing to do, indeed. Whoop, and you guys get a sneak peek at my little observation tower there, but we need to turn here. <laughs> You'll see that next episode. Yeah, I built that just to observe the, the uh, trade post that we're busy building, which is just over that hill there. Right by that flower biome. Which I could actually include in the lore, like... They go to that flower biome and they trade those flowers that aren't found anywhere else in the world. <laughs> sort of thing. Oh, I'm actually at an upward facing direction here and I managed to shoot myself a couple of times there. That's interesting. That hasn't happened before. So, this may be even more useful than it previously was because it's actually easier to gain height. Not there. There we go, we're facing slightly upwards, but it's better if we face even more upwards when we do that. There we go. We are really moving it, guys. At this rate, we'll fill in a lot more maps, so we'll get to cover a lot more territory, see a lot more interesting things, hopefully. Maybe we'll still do a few, uh, few episodes where we explore on the ground, just for old time's sake, and uh, get to see what's out there. Like, I believe I see a water temple down there. Yes, I do. This world is positively littered with them. Alrighty, uh, let's come here. I think I'll need to make a trip to the uh, Enderman farm after this. <laughs> Otherwise, my armor, uh, it's actually holding up much better than I thought it would. But fortunately, with mending, it's not too much of a concern, my armor at least. This bow, though, also hasn't taken too much durability. Awesome. So, we pretty much set. The only thing we need to worry about is food, which is going down at a rapid rate. Because these arrows hurt quite a bit when they hit. <laughs> Alrighty, and if we turn around here, how's my elytra holding up? My elytra is also failing. Okay, that's interesting to note. That's something that I wasn't thinking about. How much uh, more uses, usage the elytra would be getting from all this flying. And we definitely don't want it to break. Not too sure how it works anymore. Do you lose the elytra when it breaks? Or not? Not too sure what was the final verdict on that one. I know at one stage they were planning so that you wouldn't lose it if it broke. It would just, like, not be able to work until you repaired it. But like I say, I can't quite remember what they finally decided on that one. So I don't want to risk losing my elytra. <laughs> That's for sure. So I think this pass will be our last one. We'll finish this map and start the next one next time. But you can see the general shape of the continents over there. Very, very interesting very 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 big jungle that we've got in this world that is for sure need to come around here a bit because we need to keep this map filled in and there was a bit of space there that wasn't we've got some lovely minecraft music playing for us in the background there some c418 i believe oh come on there we go there we go and we can come down a bit here and definitely need to eat some food quickly. And I can come around here. Explore some of this desert. Get it mapped out for ourselves. See that there's a village right over there. That can be a proper desert village one day. Yeah, definitely. By the looks of it. Much better than the one that... Uh, for a desert village at least. Than the one that we're working on at the moment. Uh, yeah. So you can do it at, at an up angle like this, but it's a lot, lot more tricky to try and uh, get it to work at an up angle than it is to get it to work on the flat. On the flat, you can get it most of the time to work, and then you can just angle up straight afterwards. Yep, yep. So let's just see if we can fly all the way back home now. So as you can see, guys, we filled in a whole lot more of the map than we have in previous times. Thank you so much. That's an awesome tip. And yes, it is about the journey, but when you can have an awesome journey soaring through the skies like this, why not? <laughs> you know, you can fly around, explore more territory like this, enjoy the real feeling of flight, which you can't do that easily in real life. So yeah, and we're already home, guys. I mean, look at that. We And we're finishing off pretty much higher in elevation than what we started. So I could even land in the map room, which is pretty awesome. Yep, yep. There we go. 
land on top of the map room. Why not? There we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, my name is Porcupine Athice. Good night, and God bless.